Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. Today we're going to talk about a very very important update for the OnePlus 3T. This is the Android 8.0 update. It's a testing update that means it's not released to the public, it's not a public beta yet but I've got my hands on it, the phone performs awesome and this is one of the first non-pixel devices to get Android 8.0 from a manufacturer. Now I have been testing this since yesterday, it works perfectly fine, all the audio features are there and it is definitely a daily driver. A few things to note though, you will have to unlock your bootloader, you'll have to back up all your data because when you install this particular update it wipes all your internal storage and applications so before you proceed make sure you have more than 50 percent battery and you have backed up all your data at the same time what i would like to advise is this is an update which doesn't come with google play services so i will show you a way to install the google play services and they work just fine so let's go ahead and have a look at all the features and the installation process for this particular rom the prerequisites are, as I said, 50% battery, back up all your data, have a Windows computer handy because we will need a computer to flash this particular update. I will include the download link for the file in the description. So just go ahead and download it and follow the steps as I do them and you will be able to install Android 8.0 audio. Now, please do note that a global beta or an open beta for OnePlus 3T should be expected at the end of this month. But if you're eager to give Android Oreo a try on your OnePlus 3T, just go ahead and install it. All right, so as you can see right now, the phone is running Android 7.1.1. This is uh, one of the beta updates that I was using. Now, right now I am on a locked bootloader. So we will go ahead and tap build number seven times in settings about. Then we will go to developer options and enable OEM unlocking and we'll also enable advanced reboot and USB debugging just to be sure. So once all of that is done, now remember to make sure you've backed up all your data and you have sufficient battery. So click on reboot and then click on bootloader. Now at this point in time you need to have minimal ADP and fast boot installed on your Windows computer. I will share the link in the description so just download and install it. Now, as you can see, the bootloader is locked right now. What we will do is we will connect one end of the cable to the computer and the other end to your phone. Now, if you're connecting your phone to the computer for the first time, give it a few seconds so that it automatically installs all the drivers and then type in CMD and right click and click on run as an administrator. Now over here, type in fast boot space OEM space unlock. So this is basically to unlock the bootloader. Now once you see done, this is the screen you'll see on your phone. It will wipe everything. So use the volume button to highlight yes and use the power button to select OK. Now after that, leave the phone alone for about uh, say a minute or two. It will automatically boot into recovery and it will wipe all the data and then it will reboot once again. So once everything is wiped and it tries to reboot into the operating system, you will see the warning message which will come upon every boot that your bootloader is unlocked and stuff like that. Just click the volume down button and you will get a reboot menu. And from there, what you can do is you can simply go ahead and power off the device. All right, once the phone is off, uh, what you need to do is, uh, if you've downloaded this file, which is mentioned in the description, the ROM file, just right click on that zip file. Use WinRAR to extract it. Don't use any other program because it will give you errors. So extract it to a location of your choice. And this is the file you will have to run. But before we do that, uh, make sure the phone is switched off. Press and hold the volume up button on your phone and then connect your USB cable. Now make sure the USB cable is connected to the computer. Hold it for a couple of seconds and you will notice that your computer makes a noise that means it has detected your phone in the download mode. This is basically a factory mode which we are into right now. Now to cross check that just go to your computer and type in device manager. You should see something like 
Qualcomm USB Hub 9008. That means your phone is connected properly. Just right click on MSM download tool and click on run as an administrator. And you will notice the moment you open this tool, it will detect your phone because we already connected it into download mode. Now, once you've made sure your phone is in the right mode and connected properly, you are good to go. Time to hit the button and get Android 8.0 on your phone. So what you will do next is just click on the start button. Now give this process about four to five minutes. If it's, if it looks stuck or if it's taking a long time, you know, it may be slow at times depending on different computers. So don't panic. Now once the flash is complete, the phone will power off. So at that point in time, what you need to do is disconnect the cable and just press the power button for two to three seconds and it will start booting up. Now here, the first boot up will take about five to 10 minutes. So please be patient. If it looks stuck, don't panic. It will eventually boot. Now upon the first setup screen, you will see it is in Chinese, so select English and just go through the setup and connect your Wi-Fi and whatever options you need to select to. It, it, it looks beautiful, it looks very very clean, especially the Android 8.0. The first build, it's you know very stable and it works perfect. So I'm sure you guys should install it and you guys will really really like it with what OnePlus have done with the latest update. So once you're in the home screen, you will notice that, you know, there are a lot of Chinese apps and you know everything is wide. That is what the audio theme is. But as you can see, it clearly says in settings about phone that it is Android 8.0 audio. But first, let's switch to the dark theme, which is my favorite. It looks beautiful. And uh, let's go ahead and increase the font size here so that you guys can clearly see what I'm doing on screen. All right. So now let's go to settings again. Let's go to about and let's see the Easter egg that we have for Android Oreo. Is it just a O? Oh, okay, it's an octopus. You can move it around. <laughs> Alright, that's something different this time. Alright, great. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to get rid of all the Chinese unwanted apps. So you can choose to either uninstall them or if uninstall option is not available, you can choose to disable them. But if you, you know, go ahead and follow the instruction on the screen and uninstall most of the applications, you will be left with a bare bones and clean version of Android 8.0 on your phone, which should make your phone perform very, very nice. Now, once you've uninstalled everything, what I would suggest you to do is uh, open market just hit agree and type in Google Play Store or Play Store and just go ahead and download it from there. That's it, it's that easy. There's no flashing required and nothing else has to be done. So once uh, Google Play Store is installed, you can simply log into your Google account and uh, you can go ahead and disable market as well. After you've installed Google Play Store, we don't need it anymore. So, you know, you could just go to settings or you could just press and hold on it and you can go ahead and disable this particular application as well. Now, once you have Play Store, you have access to everything that Google offers and all the applications for Android. So download the applications of your choice and enjoy Android 8.0 on your OnePlus 3T. If you like this video, guys, do like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned for more amazing videos. Bye.